Well, it's a little bit too early. Just a little bit. Good morning, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Canada, welcome back to another video, friends and family. Um, if you're new here, my name's Phil, I travel the world for a living. Right now, I'm in Toronto, um, and I'm heading off to Niagara Falls. We've arrived in the city of Niagara. I didn't know there was actually a city, but hey ho, so we're here. And we're currently just following um, tourists, primarily from Germany, don't know why, um, because we have no idea where we're going to try and get to these pools. Getting closer, getting closer. Better over there. Look how high the water rises though when it hits. Get that Insta. The worst thing is you've got this incredible, lovely looking falls all along here with the river and then this tacky, tacky town they've built behind. A bit unfortunate with, you know, casinos and stuff. It took us two hours to get here from Toronto. Slept the entire way over here basically even though I had a coffee and we've only got a couple of hours to actually explore and get some photos. So the priority is to get some good shots of the falls and just to stand and look at them for as long as possible because we haven't got long hair, unfortunately. So I'm not going to lie, the sound isn't as loud as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a really thunderous roar. I don't know if the microphone can hear this, I'll pick this up. This is absolutely crazy! This is the good bit. I wasn't that like amazed, but this is amazing. We're right next to them, literally right next to the water. Look at this. unfortunately. Second Timmy's of the day, we're doing well. Doing very well. Question is, what do I get? Oh, this is slowly gonna kill me, this obsession with Tim Hortons. Look at all the sugar. Hmm? Do you not want any more of it? Then just tip it away somewhere. Yeah. Tip it in the pools, don't tip it in the pools. I'm not winning. I drank a silly amount of Tim Hortons while skiing in Banff. I've drunk three cups today. I'm gonna drink three cups today, by the end of today. And no one's won, neither of you guys won. We're just not winning, are we? <laughs> you were gorgeous and beautiful. You still are gorgeous and beautiful. It's just like all the Canadians here are saying, it's basically a really nice standard good falls. Um, I've heard that lots of other waterfalls falls in other parts of the world. Vic Falls, a couple of other places are much, much cooler, however, it is very pretty, it's just been a bit man-made, that's the only problem with this huge, ugly town behind with just all of these disgusting hotels. Sorry, maybe I'm being really negative. Sorry for being so negative, however, it's kind of been like changed. Ban them, ban them now. Ban them now. So we've come up to the town. Is this just called Niagara Town? Yeah. Anyway, a friend recently told me that it's extremely cheesy up here and she wasn't... And she wasn't kidding. Look at it here. It is like a toy town. It's brilliant. Superstars like Tim Perry. He's a bit freaky, isn't he? Just a little bit. Great Canadian Midway. A maze of lasers. Gags and giggles. Dracula. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm stopping now. That's enough of that. That's enough of that. Okay, this town is very odd now. This is so random. Do we go for number three? No, no, no. No, no, no. This is genuinely really, really, really odd. Whose idea was it when you've got a really, really natural falls coming down over there, 
beautiful natural draw for tourism and then create this space, like this weird wacky toy town. I can understand that somebody probably thought, oh yeah, people need something touristy and weird. It is funny, it is quirky, but I feel like I'm in a movie, like it's so odd. We just had, um, the girls, ladies needed the toilet, couldn't find anywhere, so pops into one of these, what's his names, cafes nearby, very friendly, very friendly asked if we could use facilities, and then I need a bottle of water, but he didn't have a debit card machine, I only have a card on me, and then he just gave me this bottle for free, and I know it's a bottle of water, but still, proves that Canadians are still one of the friendliest nations. Time to go back to Toronto. I got these Jamaican patties from a little shop just down the road, back in Toronto now. <coughs> a little bit spicy actually. Very good, I'm still a bit unsure how nice they are. Um, before I fall out and conk out for a little bit, um, I've got to get ready in about an hour, and an hour I get picked up from the hotel. What a fantastic day, short and sweet. I don't know how much I actually filmed, so I don't know how this vlog is going to play out. It takes a good two hours by bus to get from Toronto to the Falls and then a good half an hour walk from where you're actually dropped off by the bus to get there. So it's a little bit of a mission, but I'm so, so glad that we, that we did it. I was this close this morning in this bed. I looked at my alarm and I was about 50-50 on pressing my snooze button and going straight back to sleep and missing the bus. No matter if, if you're in, at home back in the UK, whether you're traveling, whether it's something simple like going to the gym, waking up to go for a run, you'll, you will never regret not hitting the snooze button and going and doing it, you will always regret not doing it in the first place. So I'm very, very happy that I didn't snooze, because I didn't mean more sleep. I slept for ages yesterday. All I did yesterday was stay in bed, um, and that's the remnants of um, the cheeky food I had last night. If you're new here and enjoyed this video, please subscribe, because then you'll find out loads more of what I'm doing. I travel, to a, I travel to a different part of the world pretty much every single week. If you like this video, give it a like, and comment below if you've got anything to say about it. Anyway. I will catch you in the next one. It also may or may not be the best thing in the world when you find food in your pocket after you've fallen asleep from the last Timmy's. What an exceptional surprise.